Here's a quick tutorial for making water in Blender. At a plane, give it an ocean modifier, and the Spectrum tab set it to established ocean. If your water is too big, bring down the size, and the Waves tab, bring down the scale to turn down the displacement height of the waves. You can also use the repeat X and Y properties to make more little wave planes. Turn up the resolution to see as much detail as your computer will allow. Remember that the viewport and render settings for the resolution are separated, so you'll want to match the render resolution or bring that up even higher. To animate the water, change the time property. Now you could add a keyframe, move your playhead down, increase the time, add another keyframe, and set their interpolation to linear, but you can also click the time property and type in hashtag frame. So now the time is going to be equal to the frame of your timeline, and by default it's way too fast, so divide it by 100, and that usually looks good. To make it look like water, add a new texture, replace the principal BSDF with a glass shader. The IOR changes how much this glass or water will distort what's underneath it. When it's set to 1, there's no distortion. The further you get away from 1, the more distorted it will be. Also, a lot of the time it looks nicer if you make it blue. To add caustics, select the water, open the orange square tab, go to shading, and check cast shadow caustics. Select anything that's underneath your water and check receive shadow caustics. Select any lights in your scene and check shadow caustics. And if you're using the sky texture like I am right now, open the world properties tab and the settings toggle and there's shadow caustics. Just so you're aware, caustics makes for very long render times even for cycles. This five second intro that I made took like six hours to render, but you know, patience is a virtue because it looks really cool.